Okay. Single leg dog pose, take four. This is a convention, darling. You always start with the slate open when you do it, but don't worry about the fat for now. The next time. God, anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Olivia here. I wanted to show you a truly excellent calf, ankle, and for some of you it'll be a bit of a hamstring stretch as well. It's called the single leg dog pose. Um, you can do it out in free space, but I'm positioned here today next to our ladder bars because I want to show you how I do the exercise um, because it allows me to position the pelvis very nicely and it also allows me to take some weight off the arms and shoulders, which means I can hold the stretch for quite a while. And when I say quite a while, I mean two, three, four minutes per leg. And I found that holding a stretch that long is very, very beneficial. One of the things in terms of the positioning will be the position of the pelvis. So before we get into the position, I'm just going to show you what I mean by the pelvic position that we need for this exercise. So I'm going to turn side on. When I say bum out, that's what I mean, bum out. That's the position that we want through the pelvis in this exercise. Your body will do, be doing everything it can to do the opposite pelvic positioning, which we call the tail tuck. So we don't want the tail tuck for this exercise. We want the exact opposite bum out and because I'm going to be in a bit of a triangle configuration it will also be bum up towards the ceiling. So I'm going to take you through the exercise. You start in a plank position and that will give you the idea of how far away from the ladder bars you need to be and when I say plank I mean a closed shoulder angle. Notice that my shoulders have started over my wrists. It's a one-legged exercise so I'm going to start with my right leg and initially just put this other leg out of the way so you can look at the position of my foot and my ankle. You want to make sure that the foot you're working with is pointing straight to the front because if you have the foot angled out a little bit you avoid what for most people is the tightest line in the calf. So foot pointing directly to the front and you also want to preserve the ankle alignment. Very often people's ankles roll in or pronate so you want to be correcting for that and lift the arch up off the floor. The leg that I'm stretching, the right leg, the knee is pressed straight actively via my quadriceps. So this is a straight-legged calf and ankle stretch. Pelvic position is key. I'm sticking the bum out like we showed you just at the beginning. And only when I've done the pelvic positioning do I then start to open out through the shoulder angle. And by open out, I mean I'm moving my armpits towards my foot without allowing the pelvis to tuck under. So bum out is position number one and maintain that as you open the shoulder angle. Then with the other leg you reach it up the ladder bar as far as you comfortably can and I've hooked the toes on because what I'm going to do with that leg is first of all pull my whole body towards the ladder bars and that helps me really ground the heel of the side that I'm working. But the other thing that it does is it takes some of the weight off my arms and shoulders and that's what's going to allow me to hold the stretch for that three or four minutes per side. Now, as well as the bum out pelvic position, it's very important that the hips stay level. The body will want to be doing this to avoid that same tight outer line through the calf and for some of you the hamstring. So you want to correct for that by dropping the hip of that raised leg down as much as you can. So just to belabor the point, bum out and hips level. And then you want to work on breathing and relaxing in this position. The contraction for any calf or ankle stretch is to press the ball of the foot down through the floor. You might find the heel lifts off a fraction as you do that contraction, but interestingly, because I'm hooked on with the top leg, it actually also helps keep the heel grounded and makes the contraction very effective. Do that for a count of five. At the end of the contraction, take a breath in and stick the bum out, level the hips, ground the heel, and then as you breathe out, see whether you can move the armpits a bit further through towards the toes. Breathe and relax. To come out of the position, Bring the raised leg down, take a deep breath in because you might be slightly lightheaded as you come upright and sit back. So what I'll do now is show you the same exercise on the other leg and I'm also going to show you a way to make the stretch a little bit easier 
if you find that if you have the hands and your foot on the same level floor level you find it almost impossible to do the pelvic tilt lifting the hands up on a block of some sort will help you with that pelvic positioning so you can use any block that you like it needs to be stable of course so i'm going to show you on the left leg this time make sure the foot's pointing directly to the front make sure your ankle is not rolled in and stick the bum out and I can get way more pelvic tilt sticking the bum out now that my hands are raised just the amount of this block keeping the bum stuck out move the chest and armpits through and then reach the other leg up the ladder bars a couple more points about this raised leg the higher you reach it up the more there's a tendency for the hips to open out so if you're aware of that what I recommend you do is actually don't reach the foot up quite so high and the raised leg is quite bent that's not a problem but now I can make sure my hips are level and I can really pull with that raised leg to push the heel down and take the weight off my arms and shoulders breathe and relax do the same contraction on this second leg push the ball of the foot hard through the floor for the count of five stop take a deep breath in re-tilt the pelvis stick the bum out level the hips and then keep in that pelvic position then you try and take the armpits a bit further through breathe and relax to come out of the position take a deep breath in bring the leg down and bring yourself upright in my own body i was super super tight in the ankles and calves and what i found is holding a stretch like this for a long period of time is what has really given me um, some new range in that joint so give it a go and see how it works for you